Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Your Holy Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For for to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be, forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery is a scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery is a crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be, forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of Jesus. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not, not our petitions and our necessities, necessities but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only, only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, we entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph by the help of his prayers. May your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission. 
with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all, in the gospel we share with all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Tuesday in the 23rd week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth shall, shall declare, declare your, your praise. praise. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let, Come, us, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come, then let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my words. Come, Come let us worship, worship our mighty King, King and Lord. Forty years I endured that generation. I said there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let us worship, worship our mighty King and Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Please be seated. Lord, you have blessed your land. You have forgiven the sins of your people. O Lord, you once favored your land and revived the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will you not restore again our life, that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. My soul has yearned for you in the night, and as morning breaks, I watch for your coming. A strong city have we. He set up its walls and ramparts to protect us. 
open, the, open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for it trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just you make level. Yes, for your ways and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, let the light of your face shine upon us. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please so stand. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and received adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, as you receive Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in Him, rooted in Him and built upon Him, and established in the faith as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. See to it that no one captivate you with an empty seductive philosophy, according to the tradition of men, according to the elemental powers of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells the whole fullness of the deity bodily, and you share in this fullness in him, who is the head of every principality and power. In him you were also circumcised with a circumcision not administered by hand, by stripping off the carnal body, with the circumcision of Christ. You were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him, through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him, having forgiven us all our transgressions, obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst nailing it to the cross. Despoiling the principalities and the powers, he made the public spectacle of them, leading them away in triumph by it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is compassionate towards all his works. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. I will extol you, O my God and King. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, is slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. 
Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. Please stand. you from the world that you may go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord jesus departed to the mountain and pray and he spent the night in prayer to god when they came he called his disciples to himself and from them he chose twelve whom he also named Apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Nang umaga po sa inyong lahat ng mga silya sa harap ko. Balik na naman po kami sa pagmimisa, pansamantala. Ang mga nasa harapan po namin ay yung mga upuan na walang nakaupo. Nang umaga po muli, may mga bagay na mas madaling magsimula sa buhay natin. May mga bagay na mas madaling magsimula kesa magpatuloy. Uh, tulad ng mas madaling magsimula ng negosyo pero how to sustain it no? sometimes challenging mas madaling pumasok sa mga relationship but how to sustain that relationship and make it work even in difficult times it's another thing it's challenging how to sustain, madaling magsimula pero kapag ka when the going gets tough it's another story And that is why St. Paul's admonition at the beginning of the first reading is very meaningful. It goes like this. So then, just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in Him. Paul was very much aware of that particular human weakness. Yung giving up no? after we have started. Kaya nga, for instance, meron tayo sa ating buhay na tinatawag na mga fair weather friends. Friends lang kapag ka-okay ang lahat, 
ba't kapag challenging na, nawawala na. O may kasabihan tayong sa hirap at ginhawa, ito yung mga pagkakataon, ito yung mga tao na sa ginhawa at sa ginhawa lang. Walang sa hirap, kundi sa ginhawa lang. Even our Lord Jesus Christ noted, noticed this. If you remember the gospel reading about when the Lord told them about the difficult teaching, no? yung, yung, yung challenging sa, sa kanyang mga pagtuturo, and they left. Kaya nga when the Lord looked around and saw only a very, very few of His apostles were there, He asked the question, Are you also going to leave me too because of this challenging teaching? And even in the Old Testament, Ganun din po, no? When uh, when the people were liberated from Egypt, as they were already journeying or traveling towards the Promised Land, they kept on complaining. Buti pa doon, buti pa doon, buti pa bumalik na lang tayo. So, it seems to be nasa isa sa mga human weakness yung challenge ng to continue. So Paul. In the first reading, encourages us to continue our lives in Him, even in difficult times, in season and out of season. In the gospel that we read, the reading today ended with a sentence: "Everyone in the crowd sought to touch Him, because power came forth from Him, and He healed them all." Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because they recognize that power to heal them emanates from the Lord. It must be a spectacle to watch. Siguro uh, kapag uh, napanood natin yung scenario na yun, no, it seems to be parang yung pre-pandemic times na kapag uh, merong artista at pinagkakaguluhan and everybody would like to touch the artista or to have a selfie. No? Uh, in the life of the Lord, you know, it also happened. You know, and everybody would like to teach Him because they know that power would emanate from Him. I think what is important there is the reason why they would like to touch Him. There is that recognition. Merong pagkakakilala that they will be healed by merely touching Him, by merely walking with Him, by merely being close to Him, that power would emanate from Him. I think that is what is important, especially in our times today. That is, we continue to recognize and be certain about it, that it is the Lord who can cure us. Dear friends, these are desperate times. These are challenging times, and to many people, these are even desperate times. Kaya, Nami-nami, alam niyo po, hindi na nawawala ng araw na nakaka-receive kami ng text messages, whether in email, or text messages, or a phone call, or pakipaabot, na pakipadasal. Um, and it's really, it's not really just challenging, it is really heart-rending. No? It's really painful to see that your inboxes are full of of people who are suffering, asking for prayers. But we do not dare stop praying for each other, invoking God, because we recognize that power emanates from Him and His capacity to heal. Kaya nga po nakakalungkot that uh, even now, as yung bayan ng Manawag is under MECQ, height and classification again, because of the rising cases here, there are those who put place there that the church is closed. No, the church is never closed because we are the church. And in the gospel, we are always reminded that where two or three are gathered in Jesus' name, then there is the church because He is present in the church. The church is never closed, my dear friends. Our public gathering might have been regulated, but we are the church. And it is something that we should never forget. Because you know, only through that, we will always be reminded of the presence of Jesus in our lives.
And just as like the people in the gospel that we read today, they recognize with certainty that power emanates from Him and can heal them all, we continue in that belief. We sustain that faith. We continue to pray for one another and to pray with each other because we are the church. After this Mass, in the duration of the MECQ, patuloy naman po na lalabas ang imahe ng ni Apo Baket, ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, at mag-iikot sa mga barabarangay dito sa Manawag. To remind the people here that hindi tayo pinababayaan ng ating Panginoon in these difficult times. That we have a mother who continue to reach out and to remind us that we are the church. And where two or three are gathered in His name, andyan ang ating Panginoon who can heal us all. My dear friends, at the beginning of the reading, of the readings, we are reminded to continue, not just reminded, or but encouraged by Paul to continue to live our lives in Jesus in difficult times, in season, or out of season. At the end of the Gospel, we encounter, we ended the Gospel with the saying that everybody would like to teach you. Why? Because there is a certainty that it is the Lord who can heal us all. Can you all stand? God calls His chosen ones to fulfill His will. Let us pray confidently to our Father, knowing that He wishes His people to intercede for the world. Let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that the Church, through the Pope and Bishops, may lead us to the fullness of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That statesmen may guide our nation to the future stability and development of our nation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may persevere and be faithful in the vocation God has called us to undertake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the old, the sick, and the lonely may realize God's presence in their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, for our parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the bishops of the Philippines, and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Penafort, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may rest in the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims, of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, for our personal intentions and the intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray and to remember in our prayers all the frontliners, especially the health workers, for strength, for inspiration and we also continue to pray for all our leaders for their enlightenment especially for the leaders of the church and the leaders of our government we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer Almighty God as we make these prayers we come to do your will accept us in your beloved son who lives and reigns forever and ever Amen Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through the, this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is all right, it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all the saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Oh. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you beheld us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, God, Mother, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. souls then at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to pray our Father who art who in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come, come thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven, heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us, us. And lead, us lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil, evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please so stand. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as He promised of old through His holy prophets. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as He promised of old through His holy prophets. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for an announcement. The Dominican community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady Rosary of Manawa is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa will be on October 3, 2021, the first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one of us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady Rosary of Manawa. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or may you visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online pamisa where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Muli po, maraming salamat sa pakikisa ninyo sa Banal na Misa, Anong lalo na yung mga nakikisa sa amin through light stream. Makakaasa po kayo ng aming patuloy na panalangin. At we are also asking for your prayers, especially yung prayer na sana tapos itong MECQ classification po ng Manawag so that uh, pagkatapos po niya ay in time para sa celebration ng ating nobenaryo at ng kapistahan. Please include us in our prayers uh, that uh, we will be able to celebrate no, meaningfully the fiesta of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit at blessing po ng inyong religious articles. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, freedom from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we bless them. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, into the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.